from the News Channel 5 Network. I'm Rory Johnston with your latest headlines. The signatures are in. The Davidson County Election Commission verified thousands of signatures gathered by the group Community Oversight Now to put a police oversight board on the November ballot. 4,708 signatures were needed on the petition. The commission was able to verify 4,800. The renewed push for an oversight board comes after that deadly officer-involved shooting last month. Attorneys for the Fraternal Order of Police attended a verification meeting today asking the Election Commission to not certify the signatures. However, the petition is expected to be signed and added to the November ballot. Representative David Hawk is looking to replace House Speaker Beth Harwell. Earlier today, the Republican from Greene County announced he is running for Speaker of the Tennessee House of Representatives. Speaker Harwell has held the position since 2011, but stepped down to unsuccessfully run for the Republican gubernatorial primary. Hawk says he wants to continue to move Tennessee in the right direction. Legislators will, will receive committee assignments based on their strengths, strengths in policy, strengths in the geographic district that they may represent, and nothing else. Representative Hawk says he sees this race as a challenge that he's ready to undertake. Republicans will elect their nominee for speaker in November. A sharp-eyed Good Samaritan saved the day for a 73-year-old woman. A witness spotted a man pulling the woman's wallet from her purse at a Panera Bread in Mount Juliet. The witness shouted, and the guy took off. Fortunately, he dropped the wallet. Police got there pretty quickly and they busted him. All right, now let's get a, a weather update from Bree. Looks like storms are still swinging into the mid state overnight tonight. They will gradually increase in coverage, mainly for folks north and northwest, and then I expect them to be the most widespread Thursday afternoon, and then it just keeps on going. So round after round of showers and storms, one in the morning Thursday, another in the evening Friday, one in the morning, another in the evening Saturday, one in the morning and you guessed it even more in the evening. Now it's not going to rain across the whole viewing area the whole time, but you'd be hard pressed to make it through the next six days without getting rained on widespread one to three inches. Some folks even closer to four inches by Sunday.